like to welcome you to Titan Connect. Please stand for the pledge. My hat is shining. Oh, you gotta take your hat off the pledge. Yeah. For respect. Oh. I pledge allegiance <laughs> to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for dress code check. Are you wearing green? No. Keep your hands to yourself. You may, you, may, you may be seated. And now for today's announcements. Today is math benchmarks. Make sure to take your time and do your best. And it's St. Patrick's Day, so make sure you're wearing green. And don't pitch people because you shouldn't be touching people anyway. That's me. Yes, sir. And now for <laughs> Positivity Project. Today we are celebrating our P2 program and St. Patrick's Day by dressing in green. We learned a lot about kindness this week and we hope we've seen how easy it is to spread kindness around in our school and in our community. Always remember to be kind to each other and find a moment in each day when you could show kindness. One last challenge for this weekend, do something kind for someone you live with. And now for Miss Zabo and Ms. Lenz. Yeah. No, just, just kidding. Are we live? You're live. <laughs> you look like you look like the Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> this was the week of kindness, Miss Lynn. Look, your head's coming out of the pot of gold. Wait. <laughs> All you are is the head. That oh wasn't very nice. Sorry. It's because I'm wearing green with a green backdrop. Look, I, you're yes. almost invisible too. But I'm not. <laughs> we just wish you were. Look, we can't even see your heart through this. This is great. Do you have one today? <laughs> Fix your face. We're supposed to be smiling for the kids. Show them your smile. Never mind. <laughs> um, I, wait, wait. Did you hear about our March Madness? No. Do you know who's been winning? No. Where have you been? Living under the pot of gold? Yep. Okay, well, let's see. Where are we at this week? Ooh, with our eighth graders at 96.1, Team Atlas is winning. Look at y'all. Yeah. With, do you see sixth grade? Yeah. Number two. My, my little mathematician. Are you struggling to read this? Are you my mathematician or are you not? Are you ready? Well, I am. What am I supposed to do? Tell them who the winner for sixth grade. And for number two for sixth grade, we have sixth grade Oceana's team with 88.9%. Yes. And with our seventh graders, Team Oceanus came out winner with seventh grade. But our number one team this week was eighth grade Atlas, beating the entire school at 96.1%. That's amazing. It is absolutely amazing. Our, our seventh graders, you're moving up in the rankings, but we got to get you up there a little faster. You've got all these positive referrals, but we're not seeing you climbing the rankings. Come on. Don't be a Zabo. Be a Lens. This is the week of kindness. I know. I'm telling them how to be kind. But you're not listening. Okay, what do you got? Well, the kids before, are ready to learn. Well, we've got benchmarks today, too. Okay, But before so, we get to that, I have to give a special shout-out to all of our eighth graders. Uh -oh. Because yesterday was high school registration day. And I, yes. all of the counselors that were here from West Cabarrus and Northwest Cabarrus talked about how incredible they were. They were, uh, duh. Very, of course, they were well-mannered. They were helping each other out, translating, doing all kinds of stuff. So great job, eighth graders. You showed them we're what so it's proud like of to you. be a Titan. Yes. They're fabulous. They did not act like a lens. They acted great. like a lens. That's why they were helpful and no, nice. No, they were acting like me, not you. Oh. You're digging deep in that pot of gold you're in. Are you going to pick our wonderful students? I think you should pick more than five I'm this week. I'm mixing it up. Okay, are we ready? Yes, we're ready. All right. Oh, number you threw one. this one out. Now you got to pick that one. Okay. Olivia Flood, number one. Woo! How many am I just picking? Ten, like whoever? Oh, yeah, you just okay. keep. You go to ten. Lim That's Clary great. in eighth grade, Miss Diggs, <gasps> homeroom. Number three, William M. in Miss Murray's homeroom. Woo! Yeah. Four, Grace Gonzalez. 
Ooh. Number five. What you got? Well, you couldn't read it anyway, could you? Your Kendall pen, was S. that nice? Yes, it was because you were being mean to me first. I'm sorry. Do do we always do what others do? Or do we say ourselves? No, we don't. We are not followers. We are leaders. Dave on Dell in eighth grade. <laughs> RJM and Miss Murray's homeroom. Miss Murray, you've got some fabulous I children. Know. Look at this. Talia C in Miss Murray's homeroom. Maybe I need to mix them up some more. I don't know. You only have one how seventh grader. Do, how many am I supposed to do? Mackenzie Morgan and Miss Lighty's homeroom. One more. Why last but not least is John and Miss Gurley's homeroom. You great did job. great. You went right across all the grade levels. I'm very proud of you. I try. All right, I got Miss Dake. Yeah. Miss Roop, Miss Griffith. Ooh. Hold on, let me dig deep in here. Can you Are reach you the in here? Can you reach the bottom Are of you, the bucket? See, you're being mean again. You're letting your little heart show. Miss Dieter. Yeah. Miss Greaves, your name is in here. I know it is. Miss Herring. And I think we need two more. Miss Powers. Why don't they get ten names drawn like I did ten students? Okay, well we could do that too. Okay. You That's what's are, fair. You are the boss. Miss Gibson, Mr. Hannon. Okay, hold on, let me dig deep in here. There was one of Miss Herring's students that said that Mr. Hannon looks like a celebrity. Oh! Yeah, they said that Mr. Hannon looks like Mr. Clean. Oh, Miss Greaves, I told you we're in here. I knew I saw you. Okay, and last one, Miss Walters. That's 10 fabulous teachers, 10 fabulous students. And just a reminder, yesterday is St. Patrick's Day and a lot of us are wearing green, but if someone's not wearing green does not mean we pinch them because we keep our hands to ourselves as a good reminder. Man. Yep. All right, so that is the end of our wonderful show. I'm so sorry you had to see her three times this week. I know that when she came on the other day, she was talking a little trash, but. What does your hat say, Miss Lenz? I don't know. What does it say? Full of shenanigans. How appropriate. I'm like the school leprechaun. You're the size of one. <laughs> okay, come on. They're ready to test. We're going to be respectful. We're going to be amazing. We're going to be responsible. We're going to be amazing. And we're going to be safe. Come up with a new word. Have a great Friday. See you later. Do I look tall today?